Today, we'll be discussing a topic that's been debated for centuries. How many beers does it take to get drunk? We've all heard the saying, beer before liquor, never been sicker. But what does it really take to get drunk? The good news is that we finally have some answers to this age-old question. There can be different reasons for alcohol consumption. It could be relaxation, celebration, fun, and even stress release. Most experienced drinkers know how many beers it would take to get drunk. It is important to note that many factors affect someone's alcohol capacity. So, how many beers does it take to get drunk? Generally, the average male may get drunk from taking four to five beers, while the average female may take two to four beers in an hour to get drunk. This number varies depending on a person's body weight, height, alcohol tolerance, metabolism, and the type of beer being consumed. For example, light beers contain lower alcohol by volume, or ABV levels, than regular beers. Therefore, it could take someone more light beers than regular beers to get drunk. On the other hand, someone with a higher body weight may be able to drink more beers before they feel the effects of alcohol. It's also important to note that it is possible to get drunk from fewer than four beers. In fact, someone can become intoxicated after drinking as few as two beers. It is also important to remember to drink responsibly and to never drink and drive. Have you ever heard of ABV? No worries if you haven't, I got you. Beers may contain different alcohol content, and more alcohol content can make you drunk easily. One would need to look at the alcohol by volume, which is usually referred to as ABV of each beer. This tells you the amount of alcohol in the beer. Most beers range from about 3 to 7% ABV, with the average being 5%. That means that a 12-ounce beer with an ABV of 5% contains 0.6 ounces of pure alcohol. Now, experts recommend that a person should not consume more than 0.6 ounces of alcohol per hour. So, if you're drinking a beer with 5% ABV, it would take you 20 beers to get drunk. But this is just a guideline. Craft beers contain higher ABV than lighter commercial beers, so do not be surprised if you do not get drunk with non-alcoholic beers, light beers, or Bud Light easily. Also, your drink size matters, because not all beers are served in the same amount. A higher volume obviously contains higher alcohol content. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let us delve into how age influences beer drunkenness, shall we? As people age, their tolerance for alcohol decreases. The elderly get drunk easily due to loss of muscular mass. Young people have a fast metabolism and enough muscle mass so they have a higher tolerance. When you get older, it's a common scenario that your metabolism declines. After drinking beer, older people may have higher blood alcohol concentration because they have slower rates of elimination of alcohol. On to the weight and height matters. When it comes to weight and height, people get drunk more easily than heavier people because the body fat of a heavy person reduces alcohol resistance. It may take three to four beers for an average female to get drunk, but it may take one drink for a female who weighs 100 pounds to feel tipsy or get drunk. You did not know that, did you? Also, height is a factor to consider because a taller person should drink more to get drunk than shorter people. An average man can be drunk after two or three drinks, while taller people hardly feel the sign of drunkenness after three beers because of a longer circulatory system. Let's get into the gender dynamics. Based on the University of Notre Dame Division of Student Affairs, gender affects the absorption rate of alcohol. An average-sized man has a higher percentage of water and weighs heavier than a woman because they have less fat and more muscle mass. An average woman can drink beer, but they can get drunk after two to four beers because they have less alcohol dehydrogenase. It will help you break down alcohol, leading to increased blood alcohol content. Have you noticed that some people get drunk with two bottles of wine, while some do not get drunk easily? It is because not all people have a similar tolerance for alcohol. However, a sad reality is that those who have a higher tolerance for alcohol are prone to problematic drinking, binge drinking, chronic drinking, and alcohol intoxication. Alcohol resistance can lead to alcohol dependence, which may lead to alcohol poisoning and severe alcohol use disorder. Do you drink beer on an empty stomach? An empty stomach can make you legally drunk easily, so make sure to eat something before you drink beer. Drinking water or eating while drinking alcohol can help slow down the rate of getting drunk. Alcohol enters your bloodstream through your stomach. The blood alcohol content will slowly increase if you eat something before you drink alcohol. We take health issues very seriously here, and you should do the same. 
Combining alcohol and medicines can be bad for your health. It may increase the risk of complications like liver damage, heart problems, internal bleeding, depression, and impaired breathing. Doctors do not encourage drinking alcohol while on medication, but people under medication should get drunk easily. Medicines are drugs, so when combined with alcohol, they may create bad problems on a person's body, such as impaired judgment and weak motor skills. Unlike pure alcohol, beer does not contain high ABV, so it is easier and faster to consume. But did you know that once you consume alcohol faster, your blood alcohol levels rise quickly? There is a rule of thumb that a beer an hour will not get you drunk, but it only works for a couple of hours. Expect that if you consume two bottles per hour, your blood alcohol concentration, aka BAC, will spike up. Based on studies, mood and lack of sleep may affect intoxication, especially if you take birth control pills. Slight mood changes occur at BAC 0.02 to 0.05, and at about 0.07, your mood begins to deteriorate. You feel depressed or have anxiety. Your mood and lack of sleep may trigger you to drink more beer and get drunk easily. More so, your emotion can affect the process of alcohol in your stomach. Are you able to tell when you're getting drunk from beer? You will know if you're drunk from beer when your motor skills do not function 100%. At 0.08% BAC, your brain, muscle, and nervous system will be affected. You're legally drunk if your BAC is over 0.08% in Canada and the US. At this point, you may feel good, and your mood is upbeat. Your muscle coordination diminishes, your reflexes are slow, and you might sway a bit. Here are a few things to note. Never drink beer with an empty stomach because your bloodstream will absorb the alcohol faster and get you drunk fast. Space out your drinks because drinking quickly can make you drunk easily. Food and water can be your friend because it helps slow down the effect of alcohol on your system. You can use a BAC calculator to help you calculate the number of beers to get you drunk and the average percentage of alcohol in your body. Let us do a little exercise of assessing the BAC for men and what it means. We'll be looking at 12 ounces of beer that has an alcohol content of 5%. We will also be looking at various weights ranging from 100 to 240 pounds. Let's begin. At a BAC of 0.00, that is considered to be the safe driving limit. At 0.04, your driving skills are compromised. At 0.08, you are potentially facing penalties. At 0.11, you're legally drunk or intoxicated. And at 0.38, you're facing fatal consequences. These are all just estimates, so please drink responsibly. Are you out drinking as a woman, wondering how much alcohol you can safely consume before you become legally intoxicated? Well, here is all the help you need. It is important to know that the legal BAC limit in the United States is 0.08%. This means if you have a BAC of 0.08% or higher, you are considered legally drunk or intoxicated. However, it is important to note that your BAC level can vary depending on your weight, the amount of alcohol consumed, and the alcohol percentage. For a woman who weighs 90 pounds, she'll have a BAC of 0.00 after drinking one beer, with an alcohol content of 5%. This is considered the safe driving limit. If she weighs 100 pounds, they will have a BAC of 0.05% after drinking one beer with an alcohol content of 5%. This is when driving skills are compromised. For a woman who weighs 120 pounds, she'll have a BAC of 0.04% after drinking one beer with an alcohol content of 5%. This is when potential penalties come into play. A woman with a weight of 140 pounds will have a BAC of 0.03 after drinking one beer with an alcohol content of 5%. This is when she is legally drunk or intoxicated. For a woman who weighs 160 pounds, They'll have a BAC of 0.03 after drinking one beer with an alcohol content of 5%. This is when potential penalties are at their highest. If she weighs 180 pounds, she'll have a BAC of 0.02. One may ask when drunkenness wears off. It may take you about six hours before your drunkenness wears off. However, you must remember that even if you don't feel drunk anymore, you may still be considered legally drunk. If you're driving, you may blow over the legal limit if you exceed 0.08 so it'd be best not to drive even after 6 hours. I hope this information has been useful so far. Let's now go through some frequently asked questions, and feel free to drop a question in our comment box if you have one. Can one beer get you drunk? No, you'll not get drunk with one beer. 
Beer may contain 4-5% ABV, which is not high enough to get you drunk or raise your blood alcohol level. However, if it contains a higher ABV, it can be possible. Is there a non-alcoholic beer? Yes, there is non-alcoholic beer. It contains 0.05% ABV, and there's no chance to get intoxicated at that level. How many Bud Lights can get you drunk? It'll take a man between 5 and 8 Bud Lights to get drunk over 2 hours. In addition, a woman can get drunk with 3 to 5 Bud Lights over the same period. How many Budweiser's can get you drunk? It'll take 4 Budweiser's in an hour to get a man drunk. More so, it may take 3 Budweiser's for a woman to get drunk over the same period. How many Miller Lights can get you drunk? It will take 4 Miller Lights to get a man drunk in an hour because it contains 4.2% ABV only. In the same period, a woman can get drunk with 2 to 3 Miller Lights. How many cores can get you drunk? In 2 hours, a man can get drunk in 7 to 8 cores. However, it may take 4 to 5 cores to get a 140 pound man drunk in an hour. I hope some of your questions have been answered and you're better informed now. So the next time you're out for a beer, remember it could take you as few as 2 beers to get drunk. Drink responsibly and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.